y'all here tonight. They said y'all came out here two weeks ago. Y'all came out here one week ago. They gonna get tired of fighting for Palestine. They gonna get tired of fighting for justice. They gonna get tired of screaming the name of Gaza. They gonna get tired of calling for decolonization. But we are here tonight to say we will never be silent. We will never stop marching. We will never stop demanding freedom and justice for the Palestinian people. We are here to let them know that we ain't going nowhere. We also are here tonight to tell the truth. The truth is that history didn't start on October 7th. As much as the news media wants you to think that history started on October 7th, the Palestinian people have been catching hell for over 100 years. Before October 7th, Palestinian babies are killed regularly by the Israeli government. So, before October 7th, Gaza was an open air prison. Before October 7th, the people of Gaza didn't have one minute of self-determination despite the Zionist lie that they left and Palestinians ruined their own lives. It's a right-wing lie that we got to dissect with the truth, which is that for a hundred years, there's been a settler colonial project. For 75 years, there's been ethnic cleansing. We gotta tell the truth about that. What does it mean to tell the truth? To tell the truth is to say that the problem is not that Palestinians don't want peace. The problem is settler colonial apartheid states don't recognize that there will be never peace in the land until there is justice for the people. Let's go. And what does justice look like? Justice looks like no more settlements. Justice means getting rid of the current settlements. Justice means Palestinians around the world being able to return to their homes. Justice means equal rights for Palestinians all throughout the land, from the Jordan River to the Mediterranean Sea. They all deserve freedom and justice and self-determination. Now, telling the truth shouldn't be a difficult thing. The problem is the world keeps telling us lies. The world wants you to believe that Palestinian children are not worth as much as other people's children. The world wants you to believe that any amount of force used against Palestinian people is justifiable. The world wants you to believe that international law applies to everybody except the state of Israel. But we won't let it happen. We won't let it happen. But don't feel too good about yourselves because we're not doing Palestinians a favor by fighting for them. It is our tax dollars. It is our votes. It is our complicity that creates this crisis. So I stand here in solidarity with you, not as a favor, but because it's the right thing to do. But I also, but I also stand in solidarity with you because I can't get free until you get free. As long as our police are training Israeli officers, and as long as Israeli officers are, 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 are training our officers, we will live in hyper-security states that treat every brown person, every black person, as an outsider, as a threat, as somebody worthy of death. We got to end the deadly exchange. But we got work to do right now. We ain't ending the deadly exchange tonight, but what we can end tonight is the guns and the bombs. Tonight we demand a ceasefire. Tonight we demand that no more Palestinian children are killed. 
Tonight we demand that no more hospitals are crumbled. Tonight we demand that no more schools are broken down. It is a violation of international law. It is a violation of human decency. It is a violation of everything we pretend to stand for as a Western nation. We're the only democracy around. Where that though? I ain't seen a democracy yet. It ain't here. Not if students can't be in SJP without getting smeared and doxxed and terrorized. Not if you can't support Palestine without being called an anti-Semite simply because you believe in justice for everybody. We got work to do, family. We demand the ceasefire now. But the work doesn't stop there. We demand decolonization. Yeah. We demand an end to the occupation. Yeah. We demand an end to apartheid. Yeah. We demand a free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free We done turned ourselves up, waved some flags, and we gonna go home. No, we gonna make this city hear us. We gonna make this city feel us. We gonna be safe. We gonna be nonviolent, but we gonna tear these streets up with our voices, with our chants, and with our cries for freedom. And what do we want? What do we want? What do we want?